Haku decided to come say hi for this. Guess he's just excited as I am. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to today's video. My name is Laura, this is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and today's video is the first vlog of my spooky season spectacular. I cannot tell you how excited I am. day it is September 12 it's a Monday I actually have the day off from work which is really really nice so I can get a good start on the spectacular today if you hear crunching in the background Haku is climbing and saying hi so there we go but I am so ready to get started today like I said I don't have to work so I have all day to do this it's about nine o'clock in the morning so the first week theme for the spectacular is werewolves and the group book is a wolf for a spell and this is like I think it's a middle grade it's it has Baba Yaga in it and yeah it's Russian folklore so I am really excited to read this I have the audiobook I have not started it yet it's also I should say who it's by it's by Kara Sutton Kara Sutton so that's what I'm gonna be starting off with there was only one other werewolf book that I found I was interested in reading. Uh, it was called Wolf Gone Wild, but the problem is, is I haven't been able to get it on audiobook or ebook or physically from the library, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to read it. Um, so we'll see. But otherwise, I don't really have any other. I don't really have any other werewolf books planned, so it's not off to the bestest of starts. But I am going to the library later today to pick up some books I have on hold. And some of the books I have on hold I got with the intent of them being witchy books. But I think some of them the male character is a werewolf. So I might switch them to be a werewolf week book rather than a witchy book because there are a lot more witchy books. So yeah, I have a lot of things that I want to do today and I've divided today's list into things I can do while listening to an audiobook, like cleaning or going to the library, and things I can't do while listening to an audiobook, like filming my August wrap up. So that's the kind of day it's gonna be. I am so excited, and as it is pretty obvious, I will be vlogging the week. So let's get started on it. I gotta finish getting ready for the day, put some makeup on, eat some breakfast, etc., and so forth. But I'll let you know when I have like a reading update. All right, it is in the afternoon. It's past one o'clock. I don't think it's quite two yet. I am on my way to the library. I have been very productive. I've gotten a lot of cleaning done. I just have to finish folding the laundry, which I can listen to the audiobook as I do. So I'm gonna come back from the library and do that. I have filmed one video. I have one more that I want to film yet today. So lots of progress has been made. Ooh, sorry, I'm going down a hill. And a lot more progress is yet to be made. As I said, I'm going to the library. There are four books ready for me to pick up. Five that are almost ready. So I was kind of hoping that they would be ready by the time I get there, but I highly doubt it. Um, and then one book that's just not even close to being ready at all, which is such a bummer because that book is Not the Witch You Wed, which is the only other book that I had on hold that has werewolves in it. I was initially thinking I was going to use it for the Witch Week, but then when I had such a hard time getting my hands on werewolf books, I was like, oh, I'll do that one instead. And then it's the only one not in, so I don't know if I'll get it uh, in time, but I'm certainly going to cross my fingers and hope but anyway sorry for all the noise of the traffic but it's honestly noisy in my apartment as well so there is no quiet time or no quiet place for me to film anyway so I'm gonna go pick up those four books kind of explore the area a little bit because it's such a nice day and then head back if I reach a quieter spot I'll give a bookish update otherwise I might just have to wait till I go home Looks like I was able to pick up six out of my nine books from the library, which is really good. The one book I really wanted right now is not available, but we'll see. Like I said, um, I'm about halfway through A Wolf for a Spell and I'm really enjoying it. 
um, all the characters are just starting to come together and everything's really kicking off and I'm at that middle point where it's like I have no idea what's gonna happen but I'm so excited like the build-up at the beginning of the book was perfect in my opinion because it, it took its time but we were still quickly moving enough that it was enjoyable and it wasn't lagging but it was a good setup and now I am so happy with where we're going it's so cute so I'm, I'm enjoying it so far I can give more thoughts when I get home but that was just my little update outside the library I got a lot of witchy books from the library uh, so I will be well prepared when that week comes but like I got Payback's Witch, The X-Hex, Go Hex Yourself, <laughs> Spells Trouble, which is the group book for the Witch Week, The Witch Haven, because the sequel to this is about to come out, and I really wanted to read this, Seance Tea Party. Yeah, those are six of the nine books I put on hold, and then I saw this adorable little cafe bistro across from the library, and I thought I'd go there for the first time, and uh... <laughs> There were a lot of people in it, which is why I didn't really film, but it it was adorable. I love the atmosphere of it. It's definitely a place I think I could go to like write my Goodreads reviews or get work done. I got their lumberjack latte, which is really good. I have the blueberry lemon bar, and I even got a burger from there, so like they have substantial food. So I'm probably going to eat that as a late lunch. And then I need to put laundry away, and I need to film one more video. Those are things I need to get done kind of today. I just can't decide if I'm going to watch book two of What Do I Eat or a spooky movie or something. Um, just because I really want to continue being in a spooky mood. But I was watching some book two earlier today when I was waiting for the laundry to be done. So yeah, I am over halfway now. I was listening to um, Wolf for a Spell as I was walking. So I'm over halfway. And like I said, it is just so wholesome, but also like, I don't know, it just feels rich. I love the writing. I love all the different point of views that we're reading from, because we're reading from Baba Yaga's point of view, we're reading from the wolf's point of view, and we're reading from a young orphan's point of view, who one of the other orphans that she views as an older sister is getting married, married to the Tsar, and so... We've got a lot of things going on and they're all going to intertwine and some of them we know how they intertwine and some of it we don't. So I'm just so excited to see how it's all going to come together. It, and it's so, so good and I think it's a really good fall read too um, because of how much like forest and woods and magic and it's just, it's a really good comfort book. It will get along with that. I don't know if I'll finish it today. There's definitely the possibility I could finish it, but I'll probably end up finishing it tomorrow. So then I got to figure out what else I can read this week. So, <laughs> oh goodness. That's why I put the hardest one first. So then hopefully you don't feel too bad if you end up starting late. So, anyway, I'm gonna get to eating. <sighs> Tuesday morning. 
Um, yesterday, my husband got home and surprised me with going on a little juice date, a smoothie date, uh, where we were going to go and get some work done. I am very far behind on my Goodreads reviews, so I'm starting to prioritize going through and catching up on those. Uh, the place we went to ended up having a ton of wasps everywhere, and it was... I am afraid of bees. Well, I'm very much afraid of bees, especially like wasps and hornets, but... So it was not it was not great. Um, so we we left pretty quickly, um, but I was still able to get a whole month worth of reviews up. So now I've got all the way through up until May, um, and then I just ended up doing that. I had a book club meeting last night. I just joined a book club, which is super exciting. It's virtual, but it's through a bookstore uh, close to where I live. So I was very happy, very excited about that, and then. Uh, I did actually finish Wolf for a Spell by Cara, Cara Sutton. I, like, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was so cute. I love how all the different parts and the POVs and everything came together for one big ending, but it wasn't, like, it wasn't obvious. I mean, like, it's, it's middle grade, so it's not like it's super complicated, but, like, you know, it didn't always do what was most expected, and there were still moments where I was like, oh! And it just made me feel all the feels super cozy super cute um, not really as werewolf as I thought it was gonna be but that's totally fine I feel like werewolf should be one of the most like stretchy just because it's so early in the readathon but also like unless you read a lot of like adult werewolf romances there's it's kind of hard to find werewolf e books and so yeah I don't have any more werewolf e books yet. I'm gonna keep looking for werewolfy books all week long to see if I can't find one, but for now, I I have other spooky books that I could read, so I'll probably start reading some of those until I can get my hands on another werewolf book. I mean, so far I've already got 75 points, so I'm already in the trick-or-treat league, um, so that's pretty good. But <laughs> I was kind of hoping to get a little bit more, but we'll see. Uh, otherwise, I'd be happy with just the one just this week because it would allow me to catch up on my reviews and read other spooky books, which is totally fine. Um, but yeah, and then this morning I just got back out, just got back from a workout and I have to leave for work in about an hour. I was in the middle of filming my... <laughs> uh my bullet journal video the other day but as always my camera died the camera on my phone died so I couldn't finish filming it so I'm gonna do another chunk today I won't finish it this morning but at this point I'm just gonna do it in chunks and hope the quality isn't terrible because I just want to get it done but yeah today is gonna be a busy day because like I said I'm gonna go to work in an hour and then immediately after work, I'm going straight to a, uh, after work, I'm going straight to a soccer game right by work. It's the first one that we've ever gone to, so I'm really excited about that, but then I probably won't be home until late, so, yeah, that's the plan for today. Probably not much reading, but you never know, we'll see, so I will catch up with you guys either tonight or honestly tomorrow morning. Hello, it's Wednesday, the 14th now. Oh boy, we're in the middle of September. How lovely. So I am home from work. I went to the library again. Library is my best friend. And I got three more books that I had on hold. There was only one book left that I have on hold that I haven't got yet, and it's the one that I want this week. So we'll see. But I got The Monarchs. Oh goodness. Um, this is the second book after the ravens it's for the witchy week i also got tunnel of bones Let's see by uh yeah victoria schwab second book in the uh ghost series i have the first one and the haunting of hill house for the haunted house week so these are all for later but i'm glad i have them at least i got a package from my mom and uh if you saw my last haul video you know that i got uh sylvia moreno garcia's latest book but i left it behind with my mom to get it signed because she was doing an event in my hometown the day i left 
and I got it. My mom sent it to me. It's here. I'm so happy and so excited. I cannot wait to read this. I don't know when I'm going to read it per se, but I definitely want to read it soon. And it's signed. So hard to see in this light. It's signed. It says, Laura, always read, always write, always imagine. Then her signature. I'm so excited. This is the first book I've had signed by an author for me. Yeah, I, if I have another book that's signed, I bought it like that, but I highly doubt it. I think I have like one other book that's signed and that's like it. So I'm so excited and I'm so happy and it's here. My mom also got me, so I'm a big nerd, right? She also got me mini, mini Stroop Waffles, which is a Dutch kind of caramel waffle treat, and I love them, so I'm so excited. <sighs> anyway, uh, today I have Irish dancing tonight, so I'll go to that, but yeah, I got another video to finish filming, but otherwise I'm going to try and take it pretty chill, so talk to you later. Yesterday just did not exist. So yesterday was Thursday the 15th and I I didn't do much but I did. Like I finished my bullet journal video filming it and I started to edit it and then I went to work and I came home and I pretty much just went to bed. I think I did some more editing and then this morning Friday the 16th I finished my bullet journal video and I got that posted and I got Sunday's video all ready to go to post on Sunday which is the last of the catch-up that I needed to do from this summer and then catching up from the summer falling behind on the beginning of fall so I am so relieved <laughs> I no longer have any videos that I like need to film as soon as possible and need to edit very quickly to get up as soon as I can so I'm excited. I will be going back to my Sunday, Wednesday schedule and I can go back to my regular filming schedule with my regular editing. It's such a relief. <laughs> I've really just been focusing on that and I still haven't gotten the final book that I wanted to and I'm kind of getting a little like, okay, it's Friday. I really hope the book comes today so I can read it Saturday, Sunday, but I don't think that is going to happen. I think the book is going to come in sometime next week and I would have to save it for the witch week. Which wouldn't be a problem, but I wanted to read more than one book this week in terms of the werewolf. So, well, like I said, I still read the group book and I'm in the trick-or-treater tier, so I'll be alright with that. I think I'm just really, really excited to get going on the weekend uh, once I finish today's shift. Tomorrow's shift, I have to go in two hours earlier than normal. I have to go in at 6 a.m. So hopefully I'll be able to do some fun things like this weekend and just kind of get more into the spooky season. The weather is starting to get to that like put a sweater on in the morning and then take it off in the afternoon and evening because it's hot again. So I, I love that. I am very happy. So I finally get to wear a sweater but then also a t-shirt. So it's starting to feel like fall and I really need to do some fall things. Although, I will say, I did get a package um, filled with some of my favorite fall Dutch treats, like Struwfafel. I'm so excited I have Struwfafel again. I'm so happy. Um, and then just like pumpkin jelly bellies and things like that. So I have plenty of things to snack on that are very fall themed. So maybe I'll snack on those while I watch like a werewolf movie or something. That actually sounds lovely. I won't be able to do that tonight because as soon as I get home from work, I'll have to go to bed if I'm going to wake up at 4.30 in the morning, but maybe that'll be my plans for the weekend. We'll see. I've also, I have two fall themed candles. One is really low, so I might try and like burn through and finish that one. Not really a bookish update, but that's what's going on. So I keep thinking I'm going to film a little bit at work to see like, to show you what I do in the bakery, but then I keep chickening out, even though I'm sure my boss would be okay with it. I just keep chickening out. So. We'll see. Anyway, I'll talk with you guys probably tomorrow after work. I 
Alright, it is time to close out this vlog. I really didn't do much uh, on Sunday. Yeah, I just ended up not being able to get another werewolf book to read, which was kind of a bummer, but hey, at least I read one and I really enjoyed it, which is pretty good, uh, I would say. So, yeah, I had a pretty busy day today on Sunday. I just didn't film any of it because it involves a lot of other people who weren't interested in <laughs> potentially being filmed. So, there's that. But yeah, so that is the end. I am still in the trick-or-treater at the bottom, but next week is Vampires, so make sure to stay tuned for that vlog coming up. I have more vampire books I will be reading, and I'm super excited to read them. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you want to catch my other spooky themed vlogs that I will be doing for my spooky season spectacular that is going on all the way through Halloween. I have bookish social media down below so you can keep track of what I'm reading in real time and you can chat with me. I would love to talk with you. Until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading. Mm -hmm.